gonna look so cute. <gasps> Hi, this is Swan. This is Crimson. <laughs> and um, I was playing. Sorry. <laughs> he said I could do it, so it's okay. Um, so we had a little bit of news for you. Yeah, some kind of good news, bad news. What do you want first? The bad news. The bad news is we're not going to have a story this week. Mm. Swan has had the flu and I haven't been feeling awesome. So. But uh, the good news is, well, kind of double good news because yeah. stories are going to continue uh, next week. Next week, yes. And we have a new Sydney Chase <coughs> episode for you. Which is really fun to do. Oh my gosh. It's, it's my new favorite. Yes. He said it was new. his new favorite. And I was like, every one is your new favorite. <laughs> then I heard it. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so. But we've also. Oh, oh, she oh, yes. came up with. I came up with something. Since Swan does all these, these stories. Like every week. <clears throat> You do a story every week. It's brand new. He comes up with it on the fly every week. I've never heard of the like. But. but mine are made up. They just come from up here. However, the ones that I have to share with Swan today and with you guys have been up here, but they're facts. They're actual facts, and I double-checked them today to make sure so I could tell you. And Swan hasn't heard it yet, no, so I, I get it. to tell him something for a change that yeah. he doesn't know. Yeah. And we're calling this... <clears throat> Twisted Tales of True Terror. Terror. I let him know the title. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know who you are. You know who you are. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. For the coffee. The lovely, lovely coffee. I was able because. to get quite a bit yes. because of you. And oh, oh, by the way, I know we tell you guys that we do this at like three something in the morning, but just to show you. It is three, three four, four, seven, seven a.m. A.m. <laughs> so, we do our best work in the middle of the night, you know. Uh, I'm not a morning person. Yeah. Didn't. I'm not either. So. I don't know who wakes up in the morning, but it's not our. No. <laughs> not, not me. <laughs> <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Onto <clears throat> these twisted tales of true, of true terror. terror. Okay. Hit me. Okay. I'm so excited to tell you this. I, okay. You know Mary Shelley. Yes. You guys author, know Mary Shelley. Author of Frankenstein. Got it. Okay. Well, I heard something about her, and I thought, oh, that's sweet. That's cute. But I looked it up, and um through seven different sources I got a story about Mary Shelley <coughs> are you ready I'm ready <clears throat> all right let me get some coffee and by the way if you did not know we have a coffee app on our channel that you can donate coffee to our donate our to endeavors our <laughs> yes. because we we do this and it's not easy. We no. got to find time. But anyway, you don't give a crap about that. Who cares, right? <laughs> I want to talk about Mary Shelley, okay? <clears throat> you know, she was married to Percy Shelley. And in... Let me, let me get my dates right. 1822, there was a wreck at sea. And he passed away. So, they took his body and... They cremated it. 
Okay. So they cremated his body. Hmm. I mean, like, like this cremated his body. Okay. His heart didn't burn. One of his best good friends, Lee Hunt, was there and gave his actual heart to Mary Shelley. I can't... Okay, that's creepy. I'd never heard of that. Yeah, his heart did not burn. <laughs> that's not the creepiest part. Oh, there's more. That's not the weirdest part. Have you ever heard this? No, I've never heard this. <laughs> yes. Um... <clears throat> So, Mary Shelley takes it, wraps it in, in like a little scarf or linen, and takes it back to her house. Now, this was in 1822. Okay. When she passed away, which was 1852, so. they found his heart <sighs> wrapped up in one of his poems, the la one of the last poems that he wrote, which was, it was quite a long one. It was like an ode to, uh, it, John Keats passed. Okay. So he kind of wrote it in memory, memory of him. All right. <clears throat> they found his heart wrapped up in this paper in her desk. In her desk. Okay, that's weird. I mean, did she not smell it? I was going to say, wouldn't it give off with some kind of an odor eventually? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, that's weird. Let me tell you one thing. <clears throat> just, just one little thing. So, I was driving like one of those little mama bills, and I had groceries in the back. Mm -hmm. a, a package of um, ground beef fell out of the bag and went in between like... You know how you can have a third row seat in a yeah. suburban type thing? Right. Well, it fell behind there, and I was smelling something like death. Smelling death Ugh. for like a month almost. And I was like, where is that smell coming from? And then I raised that little extra seat thing up. Uh -huh. It was flipping horrible. It was so bad. And I was like, ew! Oh, God! That's where the smell came from. So how can heart not smell? Like how? Yeah, that's um, you know, that's you, serial killer kind of time, you know. Like you, you wrap. I mean, I get the. I kind of, I kind of <clears throat> wonder what the guy said when he found it. What the hell? <laughs> his heart did not burn. His whole body burned, except for his heart. I mean, uh, that that would be my. That yes. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah. that was, that was <clears throat> weird. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, speaking of weird and dead people, um, uh, this one is, is strange because you live close to here. Okay. In 1915, in South Carolina, mm -hmm. there was a lady named Essie Dunbar. She had an epileptic fit, like a seizure, mm -hmm. and she died. Her sister could not get there in the time that they were going to bury her, so they went ahead and put her body underground. Mm -hmm. Well, her sister arrived the <clears throat> next day and said, no, no, like, I want to make sure that's my sister. I want to be able to have my last you know, words to my sister. Yeah. And <clears throat> so they dug her up. I don't know how much extra that cost. <laughs> but it was 1915, so okay. hopefully not too much. But anyway, they got her up. <clears throat> They're undoing the screws to the coffin. Mm -hmm. And this woman sits up <sighs> and just lovingly smiles like... <sighs> Thank you at her sister. Wow. So. And that same woman, I mean, thank goodness for a sister, right? Uh, yeah. She yeah. lived for 47 years after that wow. happened. She <laughs> died, was buried, and then lived 47, 47? years after they dug her up. I, you know, I kind of wonder. On her gravestone, is it 
born <laughs> such and such date, died 1915, died 19... <clears throat> you know what? To save money, I, I would have just put a little line like, through the, the like death a, date uh, yeah. and then did another one. <laughs> I know that's horrible, that's... and bless Essie's heart, like, had her sister not came. Yeah. <sighs> Talking about being buried alive. Oh, one of my biggest fears. Well, hmm, 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 Um, okay, well, you know it was common in the 18th century, because that's when they had, like, the graveyard shift, mm -hmm. which was graveyard attendants that would go around. They, Some people installed the little bells in the coffins and such. Yeah. Okay, well, it was also common to make sure people were dead by sticking needles underneath their toenails, mm. yelling in their ear, Are you dead? <laughs> Not and anymore. <laughs> And also whipping them with nettles, which, by the way, Ugh. that crap hurts. Oof. I was stung by stinging nettles last year, and I don't recommend it. Um, <clears throat> so, because all this was occurring in, in the late 18th century, Germany set up a hospital for the dead. A Ooh. hospital for the dead. So what they did was, if your loved one died, and you wanted to make sure that they were dead, you would send them to this hospital, and so they would, they would let people lay on these flats and wait until their bodies started... Yeah, I would think that would be a good indication <laughs> that, yeah, they're dead. Until they got all yucky and gross and Ugh. stuff. And uh, I'm just saying, I know, I know it's ucky, but mm, um, until they observed the corpse rot, then they would bury them. Oh, wow. And uh, this went on, all this stuff that I'm talking about went on until the 1950s. The 1950s. All this weird stuff, yeah. Some of the stuff was still wow. happening in 1950-ish. Oh, <clears throat> so, oh, and speaking of dead people, sorry. <laughs> Which seems to be a running theme right now. Well, I, you know, um, <laughs> photography was big yeah. back then. You know, they're, they're just getting all this stuff started. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> if you look at uh, photographs taken around the 18th century, mm -hmm. you'll, some are quite fuzzy. Because the exposure time to take a picture, you had to be so still. I mean, some photographers would put stands to have children, like, prop up on. And this... Just just so they could stay still long enough to have their picture taken. And nobody smiled. I remember <clears throat> those pictures. Well, you're because... trying to be still for so long. How long can you be still and, and still smile. be like, yeah, I'm smiling. <laughs> but you will know, you will know when you see a dead person in an 18th century photograph because usually they're the clearest ones in the photo because oh, they, have, weird. they have no need to move. Well, that's They're going to stay where you put them. So sometimes you'll see these pictures of, you know, families and such together and then they'll be fuzzied. Mm -hmm. But the one dead person is clear, just like. <laughs> and I'm so I'm not trying to make fun. I'm not. No. I'm really not. No. But they will be clear as a bell because they don't move, wow. and the whole family would be a little, little fuzzy. Yeah. And <clears throat> last one. Okay. Last one. In the 18th and 19th century, they actually made books okay. out of human skin. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> I know you've probably heard about it or, or heard something about it. I'm sure everyone has. So-and-so has, a, like, whatever museum has a book that is bound in human skin. Skin, yeah. 
<clears throat> well, <laughs> there have been around 10 that's been tested and confirmed to be actual human skin. Wow. Funny thing about that uh -huh. is that most of them have something to do with anatomy. Okay. Or erotica. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, talk about getting your skins on. I <sighs> mean, getting your skin on. I mean, oh. I mean, I'll just shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> those are very interesting. Yes, I like those. You can't look at the top because I have uh, more. Not, no. But we're not doing more right now. Because I'm going to save them for later. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. This is going to be a new segment for Doorway to Nightmare. Yes. Produced by Crimson McKenzie and Winslow will, Swan. And we'll be throwing these up every once in a while. Yes. I mean, if you if you guys like it, if you like it, like let us know that you enjoyed these weird, creepy facts. Yeah. If you don't like it say you're sick <laughs> you guys are sick and then you know we're still gonna do we're what still we gonna do to. it yeah. <laughs> yeah but but you know I, give us a thumbs up yeah subscribe and subscribe and oh i also noticed that some of the subscriptions that i have mm -hmm. are not showing up on my my on, on my home page my yeah. yeah because i didn't hit the bell Hit the notification button. Yeah, hit that bell because if you don't, they may not show up on yours. Yeah. And we know the holidays are coming up, so we hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Turkey Day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> next week we'll have a new Sydney Chase episode. Yes, we will. We're it's fun too. Oh my gosh. It really he was. was right. It is my new favorite. <laughs> and we are working on season six, getting it cast. Mm -hmm. and yes, yes. We've got some really good ones for season six. Oh, yes. <laughs> so. We do. Sorry I talked so long. Oh, no, you're fine. But this was my story to you, so I think it's okay. Yes, yes it's great. I love these. These are fantastic. I can't wait to tell you more. Mm, I can't wait. can't wait to tell you guys more, too. Yeah. So, thanks for tuning in. Yes. Thanks for supporting the channel. And Thank you. we'll see you again soon. We we'll will see be, you. We'll be back Friday. Friday for Next Sydney Friday. Chat, next Friday. And You guys uh, will like it. It's yeah. great. So until then, we'll, we'll be, be lurking, lurking for you. you, you, you. Love you guys. <laughs>